The word moles and molecules sound pretty similar, but just because they sound similar does not mean they're even remotely the same thing. So in this short video, I really want to emphasize the difference between moles and molecules. A molecule is what we just did in the previous video. It's just a group of atoms held together, like H2O, or like the caffeine, or the ethanol, or whatever we used previously. A mole is a counting number. If I asked you, hey, can you give me a dozen eggs, you would go get me 12 eggs. If I said, hey, I need a dozen cars, you'd get me 12 cars. If I said, give me a mole of eggs, y'all would be on the search for a long time because a mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23. That's Avogadro's number. A mole is just like a dozen. It's simply just a counting number. That's what a mole is. Now, if you look on the periodic table, um, it lists the weights of the elements in grams per mole. So if I take a look at oxygen, this number 16 says that if I have a mole of oxygen atoms, it would weigh 16 grams. And so oxygen is going to be 16 grams per mole. And then if I looked at hydrogen, that's going to be that 1.01. Hydrogen is going to be 1.01 .01 grams per mole. And so, in order to find the molar mass of a molecule, what you do, say H2O, I have two hydrogens times the 1.01, .01. I have one oxygen times 16 grams, and so that'd be 18.02 grams per mole. So, for the molecule H2O, if I had a mole, a whole bunch, a, a big number of H2O molecules, it would weigh about 18 grams. That's the difference between moles and molecules.